what people need to understand is that these herbicides, you know, there are massive quantities being applied on corn soybeans throughout the Midwest. And after all, these two crops account for 60 percent, maybe a little more of the surface area of the entire Midwest. So when when farmers are spraying two, three, four herbicides, and some of them twice a year on this vast surface area, those herbicides are going to uh, get into water, they're going to get into food, they're going to be in the air. So people are going to be exposed to them through drinking water, through breathing, uh, and, and, and through food. What integrated weed management does is it spreads the burden of controlling weeds out more evenly through six or eight or 10 tactics or practices, as opposed to just depending on one thing, herbicides, to control weeds. That's what's created this serious uh, economic, environmental, and public health problem in the Midwest. And the only way that we're, we're going to reduce the severity of the problem in the future is to support and invest in innovative integrated weed management systems.